In March 1987, the political movement to confront the AIDS crisis found militant expression with the formation of ACT UP, which stands for the AIDS Coalition to Unleash Power in New York. Here, activist Vito Russo, a founding member of ACT UP, talks about his experience confronting the AIDS crisis. A friend of mine in New York has a half-fare transit card, which means that you get on buses and subways for half price. And the other day, when he showed his car to the token attendant, the attendant asked what his disability was, and he said, I have AIDS. And the attendant said, no, you don't. If you had AIDS, you'd be home dying. And so I wanted to speak tonight as a person with AIDS who is not dying. You know, for the last three years since I was diagnosed, my family thinks two things about my situation. One, they think I'm going to die. And two, they think that my government is doing absolutely everything in their power to stop that. And they're wrong on both counts. So if I'm dying of anything, I'm dying of homophobia. If I'm dying from anything, I'm dying from racism. If I'm dying from anything, I'm dying from indifference and red tape, because these are the things that are preventing an end to the crisis. If I'm dying from anything, I'm dying from Jesse Helms. If I'm dying from anything, I'm dying from the President of the United States. And especially if I'm dying from anything, I'm dying from the sensationalism of newspapers, and magazines, and television shows, which are interested in me as a human interest story only as long as I'm willing to be a helpless victim, but not if I'm fighting for my life. If I'm dying from anything, I'm dying from the fact that not enough rich, white, heterosexual men have gotten AIDS for anybody to give a shit. You know, living with AIDS in this country is like living in a twilight zone. Living with AIDS is like living through a war which is happening only for those people who happen to be in the trenches. Every time a shell explodes, you look around and discover that you lost more of your friends, but nobody else notices. It isn't happening to them. They're walking the streets as though we weren't living through some sort of nightmare. And only you can hear the screams of the people who are dying and their cries for help. No one else seems to be noticing. Someday, the AIDS crisis will be over. Remember that. And when that day comes, when that day has come and gone, there will be people on this earth, gay people and straight people, men and women, black and white, who will hear the story that once there was a terrible disease in this country and all over the world and that a brave group of people stood up and fought, and in some, case, some cases gave their lives so that other people might live. And we've got to commit ourselves to doing that. And then, after we kick the shit out of this disease, we're all going to be alive to kick the shit out of this system so that it never happens again.